Well, in this continuing agriculture and food security series, Desmond Saunders highlights the work of a local farmer who's adding her unique twist to the local farming industry. It's been a passion of hers for the past 20 years. Also when you go to buy organic vegetables, they're extremely high. And when, of course, I, there was the concern about the vegetables that you now buy, um, is laced with all kind of insecticide and pesticide. So I decided that I'm going to start growing my vegetables because my mom used to grow vegetables years ago. So I'm used to seeing vegetables grown. With the threat of COVID-19, Cynthia Ferguson follow role, now a retired business administrator, has been busy, even more motivated, putting her heart and hands to good use, planting and harvesting some of the most alluring and savory organic fruits and vegetables. I have cauliflower, I have broccoli, I have tomatoes, I have bell peppers, I have passion fruit, I have sour soap, I have spinach, I have thyme, I have rosemary, I have uh, chives. Roll is one of many Bahamians expressing a renewed interest in farming. It's a multi-billion dollar industry in the region. The government spends close to a billion dollars annually on food imports. Gardening or farming, as they call it, is an initiative Prime Minister the Most Honorable Dr. Hubert Minnis has been promoting for quite some time, particularly now amidst the COVID-19 crisis. I'm encouraged because I'm seeing the Prime Minister and the Minister of Agriculture pushing this, this thing. I think it's the way to go. You would save money and you will be healthier. Roll is now a licensed farmer. She hopes her small farm, enjoyed by close family and friends, will become a major outlet for residents in the community, with a greater focus at reducing the country's food imports. In tomorrow's report, you will hear from the country representative for the Caribbean Agricultural Research and Development Institute, Dr. Michelle Singh, on the region's impact and response to the global pandemic. Desmond Saunders, ZNS Network News.